Hello Internet! I'm happy you found my channel. Welcome! I hope you continue to join me as I talk about things that interest me like DIY, tech, life on two wheels, travels and the times I'd like to entertain you with some things. Today I'd like to share some useful information about technology. Let's talk Volta or Voice over LTE. I think this has been around for quite some time as I've seen this feature in Android phones from about 4 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. However, here in the Philippines, although I probably have seen the press release some time ago, but I have to Google it to see the actual information. Smart Communication is in its website released it in August 7, 2019, while Globe says they turned it on last May 13, 2020. Now, this video is by no means comparing who did it first or if it's implemented to which part of their subscriber base. You may do your own research on that. From what I read in their articles, it both says that it is only available to select customers anyway. Their pages talk about the technical stuff like what voice over LTE can do and how superior the quality is compared to regular 2G or 3G calls. And one exciting part about this is the fact that you can stay online while on LTE connection even if a call comes in. Ring any brow, mobile gamers? Yes, you can talk and browse at the same time, but play at the same time. So I just decided to test it today. For this demo, we're using two iPhones, an iPhone XR, and an iPhone 11. You need to go to the settings and uh, find the cellular data options so you can toggle the Volte on and off. First demo, Volte off on both phones. We will dial first with the iPhone XR on the left. We'll try to call the iPhone 11. As you can see, both phones have switched from LTE to 3G. And that is what's expected if your network provider does not support voice over LTE. For our next demo, iPhone XR will now be switched to voice over LTE on, Volte on, while iPhone 11 will remain Volte off. We're just now waiting for the iPhone XR to get back the LTE signal so that we can now dial again. Dialing iPhone 11. You will see now that iPhone 10 R has remained on LTE signal while the iPhone 11 has switched to 3G. Let's now try dialing a verse. iPhone 11 is now calling the iPhone 10 R. Same experience. 10 R is still on LTE while iPhone 11 now is on 3G. At this point, now we're going to try voice over LTE on in both phones. And iPhone 11 will now dial iPhone 10 on. As you can see, both phones remain on the LTE signal. Now for some real life scenario testing. We are going to test the hotspot on the iPhone XR connected on LTE. The Samsung phone A Note 8 will now be connecting to this hotspot. And what 
better way to test the connection than to use YouTube. This is a DIY roof repair from a friend YouTuber. As you can see, the LTE on the hotspot is working. Click on another random video and that it pops up. Means that you're connected. Scroll to the timeline. Yes, it is connected. Now, to test if the connection stays on LTE, when a call comes in and we're connected to the call, and yes, the iPhone XR still holds the LTE signal and the YouTube video is still playing. Let's click on another video to show you that it is active. And yet another video. And you see that these videos are loading real time. Voice over LTE works and it does not affect the data connection. I am happy I found out about voice over LTE because it will really help me be more productive and efficient. I hope you do too. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in my next video.